let's face it, in this day and age, we have maybe five, 10 seconds to capture people. So if your artist statement takes more than 10 seconds to read, you've lost people. Hi everyone, I'm Marianne Mitchell. Welcome to Whole Artist Mastery. Today, I'm talking artist statement. Now, some of you might already cringe by hearing me say that. So many artists are allergic to writing an artist statement. Many people feel that an artist statement means that you have to put into words something that is impossible to put into words. But I believe an artist statement is a crucial piece both for the artist to experience going through in writing it and for those people who are interested in looking at your work to connect in a literal sense to what you're expressing visually. So to begin, I want to first outline what I believe are the important components that you need for an artist's statement. And so if you would like to have a little outline to follow along while you're listening to me, you can go to the Whole Artist Mastery website right now, put your email in, subscribe, and get the free introductory guide to Whole Artist Mastery where there is an outline for how you write an artist statement. So with that said, in all my years of being a professional artist, I have arrived at a point where I understand that the role of the artist statement is really about having the person who's reading it understand where you're coming from as an artist, as a person. Why are you inspired by what you're inspired by? What is it that's inspiring to you and why is that inspiring? And so it's important for those who are looking at your work to understand that piece. In other words, that's where you're coming from. The second piece of the artist statement is the artist explaining how they realize what it is that they're inspired to create. So that's the technical piece. That means what tools and mediums and how you may be using composition, all of those things or one of those things, whichever is the most important in your process. It's really about discussing your process. And the third piece of an artist statement is the artist explaining or sharing with the reader what it is that they feel their artwork offers the world. So there are three parts to a successful artist statement, in my opinion. And again, I say in my opinion because there are so many different opinions about what an artist statement should be and how you write it. So this is how I have come to see the role of an artist statement. So the three parts are explaining what you're inspired by and why, then explaining your process. What kind of process do you go through? How do you use your medium and tools and visual language to realize what you're inspired by? And the third piece is what is it that you want your artwork to offer those who are looking at it. So the first thing that you need to do to get started in writing your artist statement is to have a strong understanding of your sources of inspiration, why they're inspiring to you, and what's inspiring to you. And that requires some thinking and feeling and um, contemplation on your part. So again, in the introductory guide that hopefully you've downloaded at this point, uh, has an outline in it for what I call your personal treasure hunt. So your personal treasure hunt is a way that you can really dig into what it is that you are intellectually inspired by, how you work emotionally, and what kind of physical places you most resonate with. And answers to these questions will start to sketch for you who you are on all these different levels, emotionally, intellectually, and physically. And 
then glean from those answers your sources of inspiration. Maybe the answers lie in, you know, putting together the places that you're that you feel most comfortable in, the way you work emotionally, and the kinds of things that you read and the conversations that you most enjoy. Putting all of those answers together will reveal to you sources of inspiration and why they're inspiring to you. So once you have a sense of what you're inspired by and why, then you move on to, okay, well, how do I make this all happen? So then it's important to think about, okay, well, so I've chosen oil paint because for me, luminosity is a key component in the work that I make. And so oil paint is the best medium to achieve the kind of luminous light, color light and color depth that I'm seeking in my own work. So I talk about that in um, my process piece and um, how I use color and visual language to support what it is that's inspiring to me. So then the last piece is what is it that your work offers those who see it? And so that's anything from my work offers a place of respite to my work offers a particular um, political viewpoint to whatever it is that you feel those who see it, including yourself, get from your work. So now a few tips for making this all come together in a, a clear, concise way, and that is key. Your statement must be clear and concise without a long um, essay on the page of your website where your artist statement is. Because let's face it, in this day and age, we have maybe five, 10 seconds to capture people. So if your artist statement takes more than 10 seconds to read, you've lost people. So this is the hardest part about writing your statement is writing it in such a way that you distill down to a sentence or two about what your inspiration is and why and a sentence or two in describing your process and then a sentence or maybe two explaining what it is that your work offers. So how do you get started in this process? The way that's best, I believe, is to start writing down sentences, you know, write as much as possible. Um, words, sentences, things that are inspiring to you, gather information and start putting it together. It's almost like putting a puzzle together. And then write as many drafts as you can until you start to really get the kernel of what it is that you're trying to say. And you find yourself arriving at one or two sentences that explains where you're coming from. By the way, in doing this process, one of the great benefits for us as the artist writing about our work is that it requires us to gain a conscious awareness of what our unconscious intuitive expression is all about. And so it helps you communicate both verbally as well as in written form to yourself as well as to those who see your work, why you're doing what you're doing and what it is that's important about it and how you're doing it. Now remember, this is your artist's statement, which is very different than your artist's biography. Your bio is a place where you can talk about where you come from, how you became an artist, maybe you wanna talk about where you got education, if you have any degrees or um, you know what kind of classes that you've taken to arrive at where you are. Maybe you've had another career, you might wanna mention that. That's all very different than your statement, which is about the work and about how you make the work and where your inspiration comes from. Another tip is to think about the way you construct your sentences in the artist statement. 
it's so important that your language be definitive. In other words, you are stating why you're inspired by what you're inspired by as opposed to saying, well, sometimes I think I'm inspired by this, but other times it might be something else. That tells a reader that you're not really sure about um, what you're inspired by or um, how you're inspired by it. And if you talk about how, well, sometimes I, you know, feel like I'm trying to do something, but it doesn't quite work out. No, you don't, you don't want to give the reader a sense that you have a lack of confidence in what you're doing. And in the last paragraph, which is about what it is that you want them to get from your work, if you start it by saying, my wish for you, or my hope is, or the intention for my work, that opens it up to the possibility that those who are reading it will say, well, it doesn't do what you say. So it's very important for you to be definitive and state clearly what you believe your work is about. That lets other people um, sort of follow your lead and they are reading that you're confident about what your work is about and, and where it's coming from. They might disagree with you, but they're walking away knowing that you're confident with where you are as an artist and what your work is about. So to recap, there's a lot of things to think about in writing your artist statement, but the first place to start is by gathering as much information as you can about yourself. And if looking at the treasure hunt in the whole artist mastery guide will be helpful to you, take a look at that. It helps you to start pulling together information about yourself, but write down words, sentences, thoughts, paragraphs, that have to do with why you're inspired by what you're inspired by. Then get clear on your process. What kind of medium is best for you to use? How do you use visual language, line, color, shape, value, and texture to convey your intention in your work? What tools? It's important to mention pieces of your process as opposed to maybe the whole process, because remember the most important thing about your artist statement is that it needs to be clear and concise, short sentences. So pull out the most important aspects of your process and focus on that in your two sentences. And then the last piece is spend some time really looking at your work and understanding what you get from your work because that will help you write about what your work offers the world. So, and the last piece is definitive language. Come across and really own your confidence in what you're inspired by, how you make that happen, and what it is that your work offers. Your language is key to helping people understand what you're all about as an artist, what your work is about, and how they see it themselves. So I hope this was helpful. I invite you to put comments down below, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.